slice of warp toyo life warp zone 26 and i am just kind of only just got here i'm standing around on this little weird little bit of this platform on the southeast um realized i guess pleasantly that these bits of the platforms are also safe warp spaces when you go um because yeah because we've got mining down in here now there's the like we're pushing ore down there we're going to have a look bit of a look at it later i forgot i had a car here um because there's other more interesting important things to do specifically um how do i i'm still uh, did not get out of the car um, how do i get down uh, one of the things we hacked our way through in between was getting some robot frames out, but just like a nasty little hack, you know, hand fed or whatever. Um, let's have a look at the technology. Yeah, so I've got, I've got all of the bullet damage that I can, and then last time we finished off the triloaders thing. Yeah, the triloaders thing is no longer here, um, and we got all of the robot speed techs. We got the construction robotics, which is very exciting. Uh, we got some. Warp robot engine stuff. What do you need? You need logistics bots. If I get logistics bots, I can get additional speed on my bots. That's a thing we're doing. That's definitely a thing we're doing. That's going to be our next tech. I was trying to figure out what else I wanted. Um, turns out it's logistics bots because that unlocks other things that let all these things go faster. So that's definitely going to be what we're doing, even though we've got like combat shock in here and stuff like that, which I like as well. Um, so yeah, so we've got this little drone frames thing hack over here we do have a lot of oil now as well and um, we also i mean they were also came from this batteries hack over here what is my damage at the moment 20 damage per yellow bullet pretty happy with that now the thing i want is i believe i need batteries yeah i need i need another 50 batteries um give me give me half of these um because we are going to go and do robot stuff can i get can i get this water Pipes will go nine, right? And that happens to be exactly where I wanted to go, which is nice. Um, and then uh, we can put that there, and we can put this here, and then I've got an offshore pump, and so all of that is connected up. Great. Because um, now we're going to want to go and do handcrafting things, as if that was a surprise to anyone. Oh, yeah, other things that changed in between. Oh, I need to give these guys more coal. That's also kind of the plan today. Um, the, the plastic and sulfur now go in different boxes, because I discovered kind of accidentally, as in it didn't work, um, that the box above just pushes whatever it has into the box below. So I can't check what's in the box above to make sure that this box has the right mix of stuff and so all of that is now side loaded in there and you know whatever and where you don't have any copper i kind of need copper i also need some number of cogs and a bit of steel and then let's go downstairs because i'm still putting green chips down here so now i can have very exciting in theory 14 bots and and red circuits. Okay, fine. Uh, we got those run somewhere as well. And then we need to... Um, this is pretty cool. I am enjoying that a lot. We're going to talk about that in a bit. We also just want to plug some mining in first. Um, give me some of these. Give me... Yeah, give me one of those. We will have personal bots doing stuff. And yeah, this this kind of is now a sushi thing. Because of course that's something I do. Uh, but we want, to, we want to go and connect some mining. Uh, because we currently don't have any mining anywhere. And we kind of want it. And it looks like our stuff is up here, so this is what we're going to connect. Our balls, I did not get. I, in fact, did not get the things we wanted. Um, because now we've got personal construction bots, we can do a couple of things. We can get stuck on those things again. Um, how many of these do I want? Uh, 80? 80 sounds like a decent number. Um, now we've got personal construction bots. We can start to do some things with blueprints. In fact, probably several of these... This might be a good time to swap around to a different kind of hotbar setup. Uh, because now we can do very normal looking wave defense things. Um, yeah, with... Give me, give me all of this, because that's what we want. And we want, we want it to snap. And... Yeah. Um, why aren't my bots doing... Oh yeah, that's a good reason for my bots not to be doing anything. I guess we're going down to one shield, but we are going into a robot port, which is nice. So now we can have these guys building stuff, which is great. Um, I need... I do need I do need coal from the teleport, though. I didn't actually bring the teleporter. And then I'm pretty sure this level... Yeah, why is science stopped? 
Let's go and have a look why um oh because these guys are out of everything. Yeah, this is my iron problem and also my copper problem. And my bots are all now also now repairing all the things. Okay, that's fine. You guys get back in here. because uh, we've got places to be. Yeah, let's push push some copper down here. Uh, which should be hopefully pretty easy to do at this point. Uh these guys can go in here, and then I need some. And then I do also want do I want some coal downstairs as well? I think I wanted I think I wanted harvesters. Yeah, this 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 one here, I think we're taking to the other. In fact, let's just do this in a car because it's kinda. Um do we actually I don't think we left any Okay, now we've got to go and do a bunch of different things. Um, yeah, we're going to drive this one down to the other place that needs it, and then we're going to kind of forget about it for a bit and just work on the belt delay. Is that true? It's not actually true, because the easiest thing to do is still just to smash this in here and just go like, yeah, that's that's done. Uh, but we also need to get the teleporter to get the teleporter some coal. Um, how far? Yeah, that lake goes a long way around, doesn't it? And probably should also, like, building roboports here to be able to automatically repair these. Sounds like a good idea as well. Yeah, the teleporter is the thing I wanted. Um, and then... The first on the right is where we're putting stuff. Okay. Um, because we're also kind of not making plastic at the moment because we're not putting coal in there. But the plan for that is, do I even have the iron for grenades is, is the next thing. Um, yeah, this is all going super well, isn't it? Um... Let's just do that much, and then we'll throw the teleporter, say, here, and then it's this belt here. That will... That'll put coal in the teleporter, and then I think we want to go and connect that up to where we're making plastic. Do I want... I don't think I need stone. I think I'm fine for stone. But the other thing we do want to do is get ourselves a deconstruction planner uh, for the end of this kind of thing. And we want to set it on these poles and mining drills. I mean, even the poles that I kind of don't really care about, I could just do with the electric mining drills. But now we've got, whenever we want to put some mining down, we can just, you know, slap down our mining, and then also afterwards grab all these things off, maybe even from a car, and then swing back later and pick up the belts when they're empty. And hopefully that's all kind of easier. Um, let's also, do I have left platform? Is the left platform going to go? Is left platform going to do a thing? I still don't think I've got everything on the right platform that I want, but yeah, this is still doing the nice kind of buffer emptying thing that I actually haven't built everything. This is going to be other nice things that bots are going to get around reminding me that I haven't done yet, so that's all fine. Um, let's have some of this and then also some of this. And then we can push these guys in here. And I think we've got to put some gun turrets down before we actually go and deal with the rest of this kind of stuff. And let's also actually just do... Let's put it in both those boxes, because I'm pretty sure neither of those are really doing anything. And that's going to be... Actually, I've got copper buffer on the other side as well, don't I? It's probably fine. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we're also going to do... I think we're going to do a kind of spicy thing today, because... One of the other things that kind of happened semi-recently is I got more of the ticks that let me stay longer, but I think also upgrade the biters and make that whole defensive situation like a little bit more of a mess. So as well as, yeah, I've got like my, my kind of sub goals today, besides my main goals, include... Do I want to upgrade the other half of the platform? Maybe. Um, but one of the things I want to do is um, find myself some medium snappers and see what their stats are. In fact, now that we've... Is that everything that plugged in that we need it to be? I think that might be. I think I'm happy. Let's do the, like... Also, we've also done the first night, haven't we? So now we can go around and do, like, the first... Yeah, there's a lot of dudes here already. This is, this is going to be a very close base that we would rather have. Um, yeah... Um, turn off the bots. Okay, so I don't think I lost any bots there. I don't think I lost the car either. Um, the bots can now just go and heal everything. 
yeah, good, good job having the wave defense mechanics. That was supposed to be a thing I was going to get better at, or at least be able to do now. The bots aren't quite that fast, and we're into the second day. Well, okay, the second, the second attack cycle, which is probably fine. And... So my science kind of has moved. I wasn't sure if it was going to or not yet. So yeah, things things I want to do today. I'm, I kind of want iron, but I don't think this world is going to give me iron. So I think that's the thing we just have to deal with. Um, good for copper, though, which is nice. Is that There's not a nest in there. There's a worm. I could see like this little red dot on the map, and it's a worm somewhere in there. It's not a nest, so I don't think I care. And I don't think... Well, the normal plan would be to not stay around long enough to have to worry about pushing more than the first like range or so of like the first kind of circle of close nests so besides getting eyes on a medium snapper to see what their stats are i think the even spicier thing that's what already looks like some pretty big attack waves coming in and um, the even spicier thing i want to do today is deliberately accidentally overstay and what I mean by that is, let's actually just like deal with these guys and yeah. so yeah, so some of those, some of the, some of the wave defense micro still kind of works. That's wave defense hard micro. We don't actually bother pushing with turrets in that way in a wave defense normal. And yeah, I want to like because I've said, hey, these things will kind of wreck my base if I kind of swing by and like ignore them, and that's probably still true. But I kind of also want to see how bad that gets. We can do it from a car, that's fun. Um, yeah, I want to, like the plan, the overall plan, like the auto warp timer is pretty, pretty generous at this point, like I'm happy with that, but what I want to do is, um, like guess at where I think a safe exit would be, as on on which day, um, after which we would be pulling up all of the yeah, after which we will be pulling up all of the miners and trying to run away. And then I think in this world, I want to not actually run away on that day and see how bad it gets. And see whether or not my intuition is good for, hey, this is just not a situation I can survive. And this all actually looks really healthy and, like, really safe. Like, we've pushed out a number of nests. We're polluting more nests, which, because Warp Torio, we're going to do that. Uh, maybe this desert area is going to be a bit of a problem, but all these forests are going to do a lot of absorption work. All of, like, this water body here means there aren't any nests for probably a little bit. Um, so, I think this is a good opportunity to collect the... Can I even sneak through here? I might be able to sneak through here. Yeah, we can. Good. Um, yeah, collect a bunch of resources. Um, let's not go that way. Let's go over here. Yeah, can they collect a bunch of resources, worry about how much iron we have, because we don't have a whole lot of that. These guys, yeah. Um, is this all... Do I want more coal? I do want more grenades. But if I get more grenades, then I will be spending iron that I don't necessarily have. Do I, no, I decided I didn't need stone tonight, because I've already got the wall elsewhere. Um, so... Let's figure out if I've even left enough space to put the grenades anywhere here. And yeah, it turns out it's fine. Because because it's just patch mining stuff. And also, I feel even better about having these steel blueprints and these... What do I not have? Oh, because I guess I upgraded them. Um, yeah, having these, these various kinds of blueprints in various places, because all the bots are getting even better at that now. So, we need to get some iron from somewhere. And we also need to go back and have a look at this harvester arm anyway, because that's different now as well. So let's talk about this harvester setup that I actually really like quite a lot. This probably looks kind of funny. How long is this thing? 18? I probably could get another 6 in here to get this up to a full red belt of smelting. That might be a thing I do later. Um, but this is, this is a thing I'm pretty happy with. We can ingest fully two red belts of stuff and on the patch this might be yeah we can take four red okay if i up, get around to upgrading these belts um i can take in four red belts of oh no this is already kind of four red belts of stuff yeah and and some of it we can buffer and some of it we can pass through then these two red belts worth of stuff um we can one of the belts can be coal and it goes through here and on the inside of these belts 
past all these furnaces, so this is now a setup that I don't need to hand feed fuel for, which is cool. And then, yeah, let's go down the other end and look at how the rest of this works. Yeah, and then, then we can be smelting, at the moment, not yet a full red belt of stuff. Actually, let's get, let's get some iron and take it back to the patch grenades and then finish talking about that when we've actually got the processes we wanted running actually running. Uh, I think I might do a different version of this with like inputs and outputs here as well, but that for a moment is going to probably be fine. Yeah, um, through here. We... Yeah, so this is now a setup that fuels itself, which is cool. And then down here, we've got a belt that checks whether or not there's enough coal. And if there's enough coal, the coal continues through and goes into the boiler room. Um, do I have enough coal? Yeah, we're f actually fine for coal here, aren't we? That is completely fine. Um, yeah, that can all do whatever. And yeah, so... So the question is, why? what is this checking and how does this work and how do we make sure that all of these things are always fueled? And the answer to that is, this circuit runs all the way back up to the top and checks not the second box, but the first box of coal and says does this first box of coal have enough coal and then there's inserters with different race conditions here to make sure that yeah so so this box here is like the permanent coal store and then we have two inserters with like specifically reduced stack sizes so that this inserter with its larger stack size means that this if there's coal available here this box will slowly fill up and that means that yeah, then, then I've got a stack inserter here which will grab as much coal as it can with the idea that if these two boxes are low on coal and I plug in a giant belt of coal, this f flow through won't run until I get, you know, a decent, you know, some amount of coal here. But then also this is being passed onto the belt and, and the, yeah, the, the difference in hand sizes of these three inserters in theory means that we won't just, because at the moment we're just kind of taking the coal off the belt and bleeding it through at the rate that we're mining it, you know, oh well. And um, yeah, I think, I think I like that quite a lot. This should mean that, is it kind of like an SR latch? It's kind of an SR latch that's kind of moderated by these inserter speeds. So if, if I go somewhere, if I'm short on coal and both of these two boxes are empty, this one fills pretty quickly because it's got a stack inserter that's just like going on the exclusive coal feed and then this insert will kind of slowly move it across uh, but also this box will hopefully fill quickly which means we'll get to the 100 coal in a box condition and start letting coal through quickly and then this insert will kind of as we're standing on a warp zone longer fill up the up fill up the other side and get that done so that's a setup I'm pretty happy with here. The other one is, yeah, the same side, but this harvester wing is not set up yet. Bit of a shame. Um, science hasn't moved, so uh, we don't have... We don't have... Engines. Uh, yeah, because we're still making engines over here. Do I even want to make engines over here? I don't know that I do. I don't think this engine here has to exist at all. Oh, yeah, because we didn't... Yeah, the... Oh wait, do you guys have... you guys do not have iron. Let's grab some iron. Uh, yeah, one of, one of the things that's kind of bad about this entire setup is that um, the, the stuff that's coming in the top doesn't really distribute with the stuff that's being collected from the harvester wings or from the other side with the result that... Um, yeah, I can be I can be making blue science at full speed and not making like red science or green science and things just generally being kind of weird and bad like that. What went in here? I don't even remember what went in there. Whatever. My inventory is also a mess. It's fine. Yeah, let's go down here and look at the stuff that's under this tower because this, this is yeah this is the place where I started off. Um, we are filled up on stuff. I don't think that's ideal. Um, I was not expecting that to get filled up and blocked by anything, but I guess... I guess it could. What's it? Oh, it's blocked up. Yeah, okay, so it's... Yeah, we've just got too much iron ore. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, so we can, in theory, put any combination of resources down these things. Um, can I... 
Can I just grab that? Yeah, I might have to just run that somewhere else. That's a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, okay. Let's talk about what this should be doing if it were not completely blocked up. Um, the idea is, I guess also, yeah, we've got... I mean, I did want iron. I did spend a while now saying that I wanted iron and then needed to find and all that kind of stuff. And I guess we can also just go... I wanted... The reason why I wanted copper down there... Okay. Fine. Things that feel bad. Give me this. You guys have all that kind of stuff, and that should hopefully help unlock things slightly. Yeah. In in theory, we can put any combination of things into any of these boxes, and then this combination of splitters takes out the stone and puts the stone down here, and I've got, I think, a lot of that. I don't think I'm short on wall. Maybe I'm short on wall. Um, let's, let's not be short on wall. I've still got all of Yeb's carrying stuff around the place. Cool, cool, good job. And yeah, then we've got... This is a bit of a mess. Um, we've got everything that's not stone coming through here. We've then got copper being split off into its own copper buffer, which is not moving at the moment because the iron buffer is also kind of filled up, which is an interesting problem given that I was short on iron and whining about it. And um, yeah, coal will also end up in this buffer, but as we move through here, we end up filtering off coal from both of those setups, and then also there's the other coal feed from here into a specific coal buffer, which puts coal on here, and then in theory we get iron and coal on one side, copper and coal on the other side that's those are things that a smelt line needs and can i get i didn't actually want those at all i wanted do you oh i can put these in here excellent give me these and then what's down here is a very compact kind of ugly do i have prod mods i do have prod mods um you can have prod mods as well yeah kind of ugly quite compact a little green circuit build that will take I think this ends up half a lane of each of things, yeah. This is half a lane of stuff each, so in theory this point here is well ratioed and should flow properly. Um, and then we've got a little cop a little iron buffer, a little copper buffer, um, making making us some green chips. Over here the bots are going to go and do this thing, because that's what bots going to do. And we've got a fully sushi, single belt input output like engine spaghetti thing and so the rest of that half belt of stuff um, will wander over to here where it's getting made into pipes and cogs we've got yeah the output inserters for the the pipes and cogs check what's in the box but then the the inserters that put them on the belt check how many engines i've got in a different box which is also then yeah, there's, there's some nasty filter and soda stuff here that jumps this stuff back into the box. There's, oh, this box needs steel. Um, I need to bring up some more steel. I also, why do I have so many engines? Um, whatever. Um, yeah, so then this splitter here, we jump the engines over here into this box. This is also a box that, through inserter limits, sushis the engines onto the belt with the sulfur and the red chips. So that's all really fun. Um, yeah, this is, I think this changed a little bit. Yeah, I came up with this nice pattern that then I ended up getting a research and making this stuff wider again. So that, you know, oh well, never mind. And then we've got not very much blue science over here. Bit of a shame. Um, we do have... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to need to figure out some way to limit the rate at which I'm making grid chips. And maybe that's... Maybe for that I just do something like... That might be too many, but I'm thinking about turning these on if, say, red chips are less than 400. Yeah, in fact, I, not having, I haven't thought about the ratios at all, but we are going to... Yeah, so... F and it's probably still too many, isn't it? We are waving our hands at this a bit. Um, we are going to have three of these assemblers that only run if we have a small number of red chips over here, and then, because there's, this isn't a sushi system, this just pulls all this stuff off, and um, these, these assemblers are just going to run to hopefully keep the blue research running, although if I don't have the engines, and I hope at this point I have the engines, I wonder if I have my steel to hand feed those guys. Um, is everyone else here? Oh no, because I'm... we also don't have blue science down there. Cool. 
things things that are really great that I'm super happy about. Um, I, that's kind of all my steel at the moment. I kind of don't want all that much moss. Yeah, I don't want to be using all that steel. Uh, because one of the things that I'm somewhat acutely aware of, I kind of also need to bring... I mean, these could just go in a belt down here past the military sites and then there. That's another thing I'm going to worry about yet. Um, yeah, because one of the things I'm acutely aware of is... Like, part of this experiment today is to figure out how big these attacks get. And I... Uh, was a, that was a good way to nearly lose the car. That was, you know, kind of fine. Um, is to, yeah, figure out... Figure out how much defense I need to do. And then... Are these guys full? Oh, yeah, because that, that's not actually... Yeah, we're actually... Yeah, we're, we're buffering this here, which is, you know, cool. But the thing we need to do is get this over here. So... Yeah... Making a mess. I hope everyone likes messes. Yeah, that's going to do what it needs to. Then we need to put this power back. And then these guys. Uh, can we just move? Yeah, we can, can't we? There we go. We've now, we've now, okay. We've nearly, we have now automated the plastic that was previously not automated. And we've got a little, yeah, so this is, this is now another thing. Yeah, things, things that I'm not super happy with the way that I've arranged stuff, but we're just going to lean into it anyway, is that I've got the harvester wings that are bringing in materials. We've got stuff being pushed into these, stuff not being pushed in there. It's kind of moving, I guess. Stuff not really being pushed into these towers, but kind of should be being pushed into those towers. Maybe we need to go and manually massage that again. Um, we've got the stuff coming through the teleporter, and I'm in the somewhat awkward situation of specifically needing coal through the teleporter for plastic to run, and then specifically needing iron and copper in the bottom right thing. Where did my car go? Oh, it's by the teleporter, isn't it? Um, yeah, specifically needing... Uh, run through the teleporter. Specifically needing copper in particular places to be able to run particular processes. Do you have any... Oh, I've gone too far. Maybe you guys are still all small. Okay. You guys are less interesting, and we're at least going to pretend we're defending this stuff. I think I have a bunch of grenade research as well, but, like, whatever. Um... Yeah, there's, a, there's like, I need to direct resources to particular places in order for science to run, which does not sound like a, a way of organizing things that is good. Um, but also, I think I might just need more gun turrets here of additional kinds, maybe even just, like, do I just go to flamethrower turrets? Do I just put flamethrowers here? The thing is, if I put flamethrowers on these turrets then we run into the issue that if there are, like, like over here, if I had flamethrowers on these turrets, I would not be happy putting mining drills here because I could flamethrower my own mining drills, although I'm also kind of rich enough at this point to maybe not care. Um, but let's go and see why these guys are not running. And it's also still just, yeah, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting the iron out of the system. So we're just going to... I mean, things will... This will... Actually, you know what else gets iron out of the system? And I'm pretty sure I complained about not having iron elsewhere. Is moving all of those buffers somewhere else. Um, that's not where I want it to be. I actually, I can can just use this box. I can also just... Uh, yeah, I was, I was in this spot much earlier in the episode. And also doing the exact same thing of using a box to ship at the stuff around the place. Do you you don't have yeah, so so we've got we've got a bunch of iron ore, we've got a bunch of copper, that's fine. I yeah, inventory is still a mess. Um the yeah, one of the issues here is that everything has to pass through the splitter before it gets onto this belt of clean stuff. There isn't really a way that I have of getting I guess there's some really nasty stuff I could do. I could do if I did an if I did an underground here, I could do a filter inserter. I, I think that's so oh no wait, I can't. I can't even do undergrounds here because these guys are in the way. I was thinking if I did a filter inserter here for or here or here for copper, 
I could then have a long hand in inserter, put it like here or here. And uh, that doesn't work because these guys are blocking the thing. But also, hey, all this is running. That's that's kind of what we wanted. Um, there isn't a buffer for green chips because because I'd rather cache all these things here because also. I think not buffering green chips will work better when there's a smaller supply of iron. Like, if there isn't, if I'm not getting a full lane of iron through, and at the moment I'm kind of, yeah, I don't get a full half lane of iron if I'm moderating coal into these buffers. So, you know, things things that are fine and just great and not at all busted. Um, I was taking iron over here because I think this space, oh, and this is, we're also now done with copper there. Um, I guess that's good. This is not really what I want to be spending my time on playing Warp Toy away. That was all my steel, wasn't it? And I specifically did not want to spend all of my steel on engines. Um, and then, yeah, then we've got... Okay, give me the rest of this. You can go in there. How much? 250? And then how much are these? Another 180. Whereas how much is a combat shotgun? 100? Yeah, let's get the combat shotgun. Combat shotgun, great deal. Maybe even warp platform upgrade. I am getting... All these guys are moduled now, which is nice. Um, and then how many... Yeah, okay, we got... Give me give me this. You guys keep doing that. In fact, let's just have... Why don't I have any of those? Can I have some, please? Some of these, and then stuff that I already kind of had, and then threw away. Uh, yeah... And then steel. Reasons reasons why I didn't want to give away all my steel. Let's have another 15. Let's not be making the cogs for it. Um, but let's get the rest of that stuff. Uh, because I would like... Let's just straight up do automated ammunition off the iron feed. Is this even... Is this even a good idea? Given that I was complaining about not having enough iron. How much... Yeah, because there's the iron in this box. And I'm not actually gathering iron, because the map doesn't look like it has iron. Then this is... Pleasantly filling up the copper, bu copper buffer. Um, I think I'm in the curious situation of wanting to go and pull up all the mining, because I just have everything I need. Um, like, I don't need... I don't need more copper in any of these places. So let's get this fancy deletion planner. Pull all of those things out. Um, maybe the belts drain, maybe they don't. Can I put stuff in the other box as well? I could put stuff in the other box as well. Um, okay, I could just do that, and then we could also just do uh, red. And um, the belt is yellow, it doesn't matter. I've only got one of these splitters left. Cool. Um, so we can now go and fill the other belt as well here. Yeah. So we don't actually need. I can make a combat shotgun. That is an exciting thing that I like. And, yeah, I guess, where's it, yeah, I need, the thing is I need quite a lot more tech to get all of those things. So, like, it's another couple of hundred, whereas this will make my platform bigger eh, with, with just another 120 sides, which I think I'm close to having. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't actually think the platform, yeah, I think in this sense, it's not actually true that the platform is getting bigger and this is kind of going back into the like how twisted and messed up is my imagination of this mod i think actually let's um yeah i think we're just going to get rid of more of these because the other thing i want is a deletion planner of a deletion planner of turrets and walls and that deletion planner can go here so then when we're done with the position I can just grab... Actually, I don't need those anyway. I can just... I can just... Yeah, I can just do that. That is, this this deletion planner is not the thing that I actually need, because we can just lean on the regular wave defense mechanics for that. Um, this is... Yeah, that's all kind of done. This copper... Yeah, that's all... Yeah, like, I don't think... We've seen, we've seen stages of the platform appearing smaller and then growing larger, and I think this is actually... This is the time when I would leave. Yeah, this is definitely the day on which I would leave. Is that a medium snapper? Hey, all my goals. Um, explosion 110, physical 4 and 20. How do these compare to regular mediums? So the one explosion flat resistance is not going to do anything because grenades pitch up with like 50 damage. So that's whatever. Um, 
but the 420 physical, so they are slightly more resistant against, resistant against bullets. The fire and the laser resistance is interesting, although, I mean, laser's not really good until you get a bunch of upgrades anyway. I don't think that amount of fire damage is going to make a whole lot of difference, but also 200% health as opposed to 75% health. So these... These guys are, and I guess also the the twenty percent physical damage mitigation, as opposed to the ten percent of medium fighters. So these guys are, like it's, it's significantly more work to kick through these guys, um, but yeah. So so yes, yeah, now is when I would usually leave. Um, I think I'm even going to pick up the harvester, but we're also just going to sit around and not actually leave, and maybe pull up an autosave later if all of this goes terribly badly to plan uh, but I think mostly what we're going to do is just see if the base can take care of itself and see how bad the attacks actually get although they don't seem to be too bad at the moment because of all the trees and stuff um, but yeah like I was talking about the platform like we've seen the platform be kind of small and then you know appear bigger and eventually get larger and stuff like that wait do I have have the stuff to make a flamethrower. Um, yeah, that, that's a good idea. We'll do that. And then I need to get some copper from somewhere. Um, which I can probably find just here. Ah, uh, combat shotgun. Hey. Okay, so um, I was talking about the platform. I got distracted about the platform again. Like, I don't think it, it's the case that the platform is growing. I think in, in the really quite dark, like, event horizon esque kind of way of which I'm picturing how the warp works, I think this isn't this isn't a platform that's growing larger. Like the platform is a four-dimensional spike where the fourth dimension is in the warp somewhere. And us seeing the platform get larger is the spike pushing through our space so that there is a like a wider cross section of the spike penetrating our three dimensional space that presents as this platform, which is kind of weird. Um, very much on theme for how a lot of this stuff seems to go. Like the warp is, like in, in, yeah, in basically every science fiction element where the warp does something, the warp is almost al always just like a really bad thing to be dealing with. Right, let's get all these guys out of the way as well. And, yeah, I, I think that... Do I even need to keep this position? I, mean, I kind of did want to leave those guns up to see if to see if they would be able to hold up against however many biters turned up. Because um, one of the other suspicions I have is that... Specifically to how this, this balance goes, that there's... In fact, especially with no walls around these gun turrets is that everything here looks fine until it isn't and then when it isn't everything basically gets rolled in one go um, not just from you know bots are not nearly as fast as wave defense bots um, not just because we are like running out of ammo and stuff but from the nature of this pollution cloud and how the attacks escalate as as the cloud pushes out and how many yeah, the size of attacks coming in and the nature of those. And I'm getting attacked. This is a good time to demonstrate my new shotgun. Um, it's pretty good. It's got a flat damage bonus, which is, you know, really nice. Um, I think if we I think if we survive this day, I was actually not expecting to survive this day. But if we survive this day, then I just think we call we call this completely successful. Although also in a way unsuccessful because I was kind of expecting the base to get rolled and kind of wanted to see it get rolled. Um, yeah, these guys running in, it's mostly fine. These guys, yeah, also these guys getting trapped on the trees. Yeah, okay, so so I'm not going to throw grenades at these guys because I want to see how the guns get it done. But we will, we will rearm them, I guess, grudgingly. Because these are some, yeah, these these are some these are some attacks, and then these guys are running out of, yeah, these guys are running out of ammunition. Pretty sad. These guys also kind of running out of ammunition. Um, I think in most other situations, if I didn't want to see how long this would last, these would have all been picked up and we'd have run away by now. But also, 
Yeah, these guys, yeah, we're gonna lose all of this, aren't we? There's just too many dudes. I guess the the only question is, and then also these guys are running out of ammunition, yeah. So I kind of needed to run down here and do grenade defensive work just to also not have these turrets run out of ammunition because that's also one of the major, fa major failure modes, which is also why I think maybe flamethrowers in here? You guys, you guys can't touch me. What are you doing? Um, maybe, maybe flamethrowers, maybe just like a red ammo belt. I think that's one of the other reasons why... The, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted uh, the left harvester. Um, oh, that's an interesting way to push a base, actually. Take a harvester platform, put a bunch of guns on a harvester platform, run up to a base, drop the harvester teleporter, have all the guns shoot the bit nest. Um, weird way of using harvester, but never mind. Um, yeah, one of the other reasons why this is belt fed, because I kind of think I want red ammo here by the time we're dealing with these big or the, the, um, the mediums, and I think it might just be, like, the expansion for this, like, a, this, this kind of thing here might end up being the only expansion this needs to make use of the increased space, although a thing I would really like, having just got bots online, um, not being down there, is, is actually more roboports. Like, I've got radar coverage on these harvester platforms, which is cool. I think radar coverage, or, yeah, rubber port coverage would also be a great plan. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna, this is, uh, I was expecting everything to die, and it kind of didn't. Um, and that's a little bit disappointing. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have, we're gonna have bots grab all these walls, because that's not that difficult. Um, bots are gonna try and repair everything as well, which is, you know, fine. Uh, give me all of these back. I mean... Damaged walls are actually exactly as good as full health walls because a stack of damaged walls like... I don't even have any of them. Did the bots repair them all? Did the bots repair all the walls before picking them up? Okay, fine. Um, yeah, a stack of damaged walls is exactly as good as a stack of full health walls because I can just feed the damaged walls into military sites and get exactly the same value out of them as I would with damaged walls. Um, I think I need to move... Yeah, they need to move some... I need to move some science. That's all still disastrously hand fed as well. Um, okay, so packing things up and putting them back. Going much faster with bots, which is nice. So this kind of disastrous hand feeding stuff still a bit of an issue. Um, where's... How much blue science have I got? 264 blue science. That is... Enough for several things, isn't it? Um, and then this... Where did I want to be? I wanted to be... Yeah, this hand-feeding thing will probably annoy me, but also Warptorio is supposed to be chill. Ends up not being all that chill. I think this side is still entirely hand-fed with its coal, which is why we've also got these things pulling the stuff off. So, so next map, I need to put iron into this tower, presuming that the patches cooperate, because, because the other side is just full, and this is where the iron needs space, and we kind of need... Yeah, the, these red signs, red signs are going to run out of that stuff at the moment. Um, so the, yeah, so the plat, the the platform, the four-dimensional pyramid spike that is the platform has pushed further into our reality. Ah, this this might just work permanently now, because I was trying to figure out previously whether a pattern like I had, I had offshore pumps on the site here and they didn't work. When, when we warped, because they weren't technically on the platform. But I th suspect that getting a water well pump, because we happened to time the platform upgrade with a section where the pump was, like this pump is now entirely on the platform. I think this goes with us. Um, we're gonna abandon this project of like, let's see how much damage the platform can take because we were successful, oh well, and we should also actually research something um, let's go back to getting the bot speed. Let's see if we can get some more bot speed so we can play like wave defense mining patterns a little faster when we get to the next place. But I think this is going to stay now. I think this is now just a permanent water source that I have because I have expanded the platform and, and engulfed a water well pump. And then, I'm not even concerned about that being outside the defenses, because all of this stuff can just move down here, and this will be... Uh, okay. Okay. That didn't work. Um, oh well. I guess... 
yeah, I guess it's because the pi yeah, the platform goes here, and then everything goes on the platform, and these two squares here are not a valid place to put a pipe, and so we don't get it. Um, but that being said, we do have the iron that I wanted, and we have the iron right next to this platform here that we wanted. Was that a a loud metal clang, a sparkle in the ground fills me with determination? Okay, yep, yeah, I am I am determined. We are going to how many of these things do I have? I've got yeah, like as many different pipe layouts as I have places that oh and you also lost the offshore pump. Um cool bots are gonna get around to that later when I have one of those. Yep. Yeah. Um yeah, as many different ways of connecting this stuff as I have pipe directions. Um, we've got we've got this kind of blue sushi science going now. I quite like the sushi pattern. We might be doing that in a lot of places. Um, we've got a lot of iron here, which we'll go and collect. Yeah, that was warp zone 26. Warp zone 27 will no doubt continue with with more horrific injuries inflicted upon space time. I'm sure space time is fine. I'm not going to ask it how it feels. It's it's good. Yeah, logistics robots. I'm moving on with more warp speed. And yeah, into that wasn't the warp speed one. Um, where is the yeah warp robot engines? Yeah, things things are good. Things are things are fine here. Nothing nothing to be concerned about. The universe is not about to collapse.